Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday morning EDS Chapel. It is so good to see you all this morning. Uh, we're going to work on doing a song this morning, then we're going to do a reading, and I'll talk about the reading real quick, and we'll wrap up with another song. But first of all, let's have our uh, come together prayer to get this thing started off right. Take a deep breath in through your nose and blow it out gently and come into prayer hands. We thank you, God, as our chapel begins. We thank you, God, for our family and our friends. Please guide us, Lord, as we learn and play. Please hear us, Lord, as we sing and pray. Amen. We're going to start off with a song that's really fast and a lot of fun to get us in the spirit today. It's uh, called Praise the Lord. Here we go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him on his angels. Praise him on his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the sky. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded, and they created, yeah, 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 for he commanded. Heavens, praise him in the heights above, praise him all his angels, praise him all his heavenly hosts, praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights above, praise him all his angels, praise him all his heavenly hosts, praise him, sun and moon, praise him all your shining stars, praise him, you highest heavens and you water from the sky. according to Matthew, and this is a reading that's going to be heard all over the country, all over the world this Sunday in churches, uh, online and, and in person everywhere. It's all about uh, something called Palm Sunday. So let's listen. When Jesus and his disciples had come near to Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt beside her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. Now this took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them, and they brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road in front of him, and others cut branches from the trees to spread them along the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he had entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? And the crowds were answering, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Hear what God is saying to us today. Thanks be to God. Okay, so this is a cool story. It's a cool story. It's all about uh, Jesus and he's walking into town and he's riding on the back of a donkey and a colt and his, his disciples are walking with him and there are people everywhere and they're waving their palm branches. 
and they're having a lot of fun and some people are spreading them on the road in front of him and spreading their cloaks on the road in front of him like rolling out a red carpet for somebody. And all the crowds were shouting and cheering and they were yelling out, uh, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now this word Hosanna might not be one you're that familiar with. So let's talk about it real quick. Hosanna, it can mean one of two things. It can either mean, please save me, kind of cool. Or it can mean savior. And both of those have very closely tied meanings, but they're a little bit different. Imagine there's a kid who's in a swimming pool. And he's over in the deep end and he can't swim that well. And he kind of panics and he starts to go under the water. And he can just get his head up high enough and he yells out, oh, save me. And then the lifeguard dives in and scoops him out and she plunks him on the side of the pool and says, you're safe. And he says, oh, thank you. Or, or imagine there's a kid that's swimming in the deep end that looks up and knows that the lifeguard is there to save him. And as the kid starts to get in trouble before the child can even cry out for help, the lifeguard recognizes the need and she jumps in and scoops him up and plunks him on the edge of the pool says, are you okay? And he says, oh, you're my savior. These ideas are very similar, but they're a little bit different. Well, regardless of whether the crowd was calling out, please save me, saying that they wanted Jesus to do something to change the, the lives that they were leading and change the way that they were having to live under the, the Jewish custom and rule or, or if they were crying out to him saying, we know that you are our savior. We know that you're sent here to save us. Regardless of how they meant it, they were crying out to someone who could save them. And they were excited and they were shouting and they thought, here it is. Finally, this person, this, this famous person who has done all these wonderful things all over Israel is coming to Jerusalem, coming to the capital city. And now we're gonna see what he's really all about for ourselves. And they were super excited. And so uh, the idea is this Sunday, whether you're watching church online or you're playing with your family or playing with a sibling or whatever, you're outside, I want you to, to find something to wave. I want you to shout up into the sky, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I promise you, I promise you, if you do it, that God will hear it and Jesus will hear it and up in heaven, crack a big smile. That's the good news for today. Amen. All right, let's do one more song, and then we're going to call it a day. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Uh, be good to your mom and dad. Be good to each other. And um, this is the day that the Lord has made. So let's sing that, okay? Here we go. This is the day the Lord has made, that the Lord has made, we will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad, and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad. Wonderful day. I'll see y'all in a couple of days for the next chapter.